economy is done, Niger Delta will be sold to China. Nigeria is owing China $9.1 billion since Ude. The rate at which Nigeria is borrowing money is alarming. Not quite long, President Buhari made a fresh loan request of $29.96 billion from the Senate. The 9th Senate approved the request. He made such requests during the 8th Senate, but it was turned down. Hmm. The fears were that Nigeria is gradually building up a debt profile that will consume its future generation. People that understand the style of lending from the Chinese can predict what happens when expectations in terms of payback are not met. Even the World Bank has warned Nigeria on the rate at which it borrows. A journalist and former director of communication and strategy under the administration of former President Goodluck Jonathan, Mr. Jackson Ude has revealed what happened to Ecuador recently over the huge debt it is owing China, which it cannot pay. According to the statement he made through his Twitter handle, Ecuador is trying to auction 3 million of its 8.1 million pristine Amazonian rainforest of Chinese oil to Chinese oil companies because the country is owing $7 billion. He also added that such thing can happen in the situation, uh, situation of Nigeria selling the Niger Delta to China due to the huge sum of money, about $9 billion it is owing. So guys, uh, you've heard it all. One thing I know is that irrespective of anything, irrespective of how the government might come out to defend the whole thing, we all are going to pay dearly for it. But one thing that is pertinent is that those people who are the leaders, you know, they have enough because even with their salaries alone, even if they don't dip their hands into the cookie jar, the structure of allowances and salaries which they get, you know, it's enough for them to even live their life. So it is the same masses that we pay for it because with all of these uh, taxes here and there, it is the same masses who are already on ground that will pay for it. The government can come and justify it. People can say, oh, it is not right for the government to borrow and what have you. But one thing that is important and that is sure is that irrespective of anything, we all will pay, whether now or later. We are still even paying. Before now, people they have been borrowing. Uh, past governments have been borrowing, borrowing and borrowing. What can we say we have gained? It is all about funding their lifestyle. It's all about... The, the the salaries it's all about the allowances all about going abroad uh, you know for one reason or the other that is so you know crucial to them that they themselves benefit from so whether you are in support or you are not in support is something that everybody will pay dearly for and we are paying for it the question is that what has been borrowing before now what can we say what are the tangible things that we can see that you know that we have really gained i don't know whether you have gained anything whether you have en you are enjoying something or you have enjoyed in the past you know you can just let us know you know the government will come from the angle of you know defending 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 they ah they will tell you it is good to borrow it is good to borrow and a lot of analysts economists have come out to pieces all of these things you know the merits and demerits of this uh, borrowing in the first place because as it is now those ones who are the M of Afia now? Just check their age. You see that. Check their ages. You see that. How many? Ah, yes. You, you check their age. See, then look how many years they are going to spend again on this earth. Are they, are they, will they be the people that will pay for it? It is the younger generations that will pay for it. Of course, there will people will come and tell you, oh, it is good to borrow, but in as much it will be used for the right thing. But from the past, what have we seen? From the index of a, a you know transparency, the report of a transparency international corruption is still is still ongoing at that maximum level at that high speed is still going on, even with the rate at which they are campaign campaigning. Oh, we are fighting corruption. We are fighting corruption. At the end of the day, if you are fighting corruption, are you fighting it in the right way so that people will not have opportunity? There should be system in place to block all of those things. It's not that, okay, when it comes to your people, you know, it should be a free fall. But when it comes to people who do not have access to the government, you know, that is where you try to make it seem as if you are working. If a real system is, on, is in place, I tell you, a lot of people who are really cutting corners 
you know, it won't be there. We talk of corruption, even in the budget uh, alone, they do padding. They do padding. Honestly, it is really a, 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 a thing or something that one will be worried about. And someone says here that, uh, I'm sorry for Niger data. This is just the beginning. They hate Igbos. They hate Biafra, but they will be slaves to China by force. And the North will be laughing at them. What a good lesson to the brainwashed. Someone said, Buhari and his family are slaves to China, not Niger data. Okay, Niger data belong to Biafra. So China supposed to have used common sense before borrowing that lazy man money that the North can't pay back in 100 years. That's what somebody is saying. I let him sell it now. That what have I gained in the oil way before now? Nothing. Someone say even if you sell it, if they don't sell it in the first place, what have we benefited? What have we gained as a people? It's just like five percent of the people are really they, they are the ones smiling to the banks, or they are the ones who can who will be telling you, oh, okay, yes, everything is working fine, everything is okay. And that is the position of this particular person. Someone say, hmm. Well, at the commencement of this government, we were meant to understand that spoken economic terms was above their head and we didn't understand that economy is not run by magic. It will take one who is economically sound or that have the capacity to employ an economic technocrat to steer an economy uh, in the right direction. So, the meek is speed already. The oil belongs to Nigerians and the loans are used for projects that will benefit Nigerians. Unlike the previous regimes that looted loans and, and to the extent stole money from uh, CBN. That's what uh, this person is training to tell us. Like, of course, people are saying that uh, if the mon money is being borrowed and it will be used for the right thing and it will be used very well, why not? And someone said, which of the past and present president that has never engaged in loan on loan. Woe to the one that would enslave the region. We will fight it out. Mm. Someone say you are dreaming. You didn't understand what is going on in Nigeria. You are calling us children of Amajiri and now we took the challenge and went to schools abroad. So we know you more than you know. You know us, Hausa people say Kwakuduma. Mm -hmm. We have started this uh, tribalism of a thing. Um, why Niger Delta? You should be talking about Sambisa Forest. By the understand of Mr. President, he would not do so such things. Buari is a ah, whatever. Getting a loan isn't the issue, but applying the proceeds of to infrastructural development of the country so as to boost economic growth the challenge we uh we have is more than 60 percent more than 60 percent the loan we ch channel it to private pockets that is the main problem that cause for concern of course 60 percent of that loan will be channeled to private pockets and what will happen at the end of the day nothing will happen it's a story 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 that people will continue to hear and you know if it is being channeled to a proper uh, uh, uh course people will be happy Money has been borrowed, you know. People, the past governors have been borrowed, governments have been borrowing money, but we can't see anything. We can't see anything. Everything is just see like that at this age and time. Nigeria, that's supposed to be on top, that's supposed to have all it takes. Yes, what do we have? We are retrogressing. We are retrogressing. You are still going to hear story. When once you hear the story, what are you going to do? Nothing will be done. At the end of the day, they will say, "Play bargaining." Those that will be caught, they will say, plea bargaining. And it's an offense that they have committed. Or the ones that they will, they will, they will say they are repented, they will request them back into, into, into army. Is that, what, is that how to, to run the country? The ones that will steal money, they will say, okay, plea bargaining, okay, bring this money, then we'll do this. Then how do you expect others not to say, okay, if this is how it's going to be done here, yeah, let me just do it. And at the end of the day, this is what we come, uh, that we end it. So guys, uh, let's hear your take concerning what uh, uh, they have said that if care is not taken after this uh, government, that what will happen, most especially maybe it might be Niger data, they will use even as a collateral 
if we are unable to pay these loans and that is why people are really afraid so guys i'll leave your comments down in the comment section below and let's hear your take bye